Hey everyone, welcome to this new painting where we'll be painting these blue, um, these different kinds of blue on this helix bridge. So here I use different tones of blue to paint the metal bars and objects on the bridge. And this bridge here is located near to the Marina Bay, Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. And um, we have all these, you know, very intricate kind of uh, designs and uh, metal bars and all these kind of patterns that are you know, forming this um, bridge called the Helix Bridge. So it mimics the design of the DNA where you have all these, you know, twirling kind of uh, metal bars and structures that kind of like give rise to this very unique design. And at night, okay, we will see all these, you know, colors coming alive because of the lights that are lighting up this bridge. So using this brush, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different purples and all these different blues and all these you know um, kind of colors that make up all these bars so again we want to use different blues for the same area and you can see right there I kind of like use purple and dark blue and that will give us some very nice kind of uh, colors and that will help us to have you know all these different kinds of uh, dark blues and purples and so on and so forth again leaving white some of the middle parts because that actually shows the reflection and we do not want to have that area painted as it will be filled in with a lighter color later all right so um we're using some darks and some kind of uh, dark blue to make sure that we have um, these different blues that you're seeing right now that are being you know depicted on this bar on the left hand side and to the left of that bar we have this orange so we can combine orange with dark blues and light blues to form this very interesting combinations of warm and cool colors that will make it look even better with all these you know different temperatures and again using lighter blues for the bars and darker blues for the rest of the areas and using a combination of cool and warm colors in order to give us this very nice kind of um, visual effect so leaving white the areas for the lights that are on those main um, thicker kind of curved bars so these are the lights light source that are coming out so using different shapes we can design all these shapes that are within that all those details of the helix bridge Alright, so just trying to continue and to repeat the same process of the painting. So I use orange and brown to paint some of the details. And as you can see right there, we have all these warm and cool tones. So just trying to repeat this for the rest of the things that we see there. Right, so we have this thin little kind of dark blue and we have all these you know lines so first we'll draw in all the lines and then we will draw in all the rest of the other details right so again using that brush just trying to make sure that we have all the main lines so we have a little bit lighter lines and we have a little bit darker lines and that will give us you know all these kinds of uh, lines and dark lines and thin lines and so on and so forth right so there's this structure that is coming out right there in the middle of the bridge and we will paint that later but first adding in all these lines and as you can see um the dark kind of lines that is actually forming um the bottom part of that bar right there so at the top of the bar is going to be another color another lighter color because the top and the bottom are of different colors right so we need to distinguish the different colors in that same bar Right, so just using my brush to kind of like form darker lines and just trying to make sure that we have, you know, all these um, blue lines in first. So the thing is, if you visit Singapore, that will give you a very, um, you know, um, this place is a very common tourist kind of a place where you can kind of like um, exit at Esplanade Station or City Hall Station 
and you can kind of like walk towards the Marina Bay, Marina Bay Sands and this place is kind of like very vibrant at night with all these lights coming out from the main building the Marina Bay Sands building which is on the right hand side and right here the Helix Bridge is actually a very nice kind of a bridge with all these lights and this very you know um, posh looking kind of uh, structures and of course if you go into Marina Bay Sands that is a very nicely designed um, shopping center with a lot of expensive kind of luxury goods that are being sold inside and so using my brush I'm just trying to make sure that we have again all these different kinds of blues that you know is making up those supports so as you can see those support kind of stilts or metal bars is actually made up of different kinds of blues and using my brush I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different light blues and dark blues and orange and browns that are being painted in so again right here we are using shapes to represent the details inside the bridge and uh, we have you know all these darker strokes and lighter strokes and so on and so forth and of course the different shapes like we have all these you know different intricate shapes that are actually used to design those details right there in the middle part so again this part will require some kind of uh, patience because this is pretty detailed and not everyone has the kind of patience to actually go through all the things so again after waiting for that part to dry i'm just trying to add in the another line which shows another color and that will actually give us all these you know very nice colors and very amazing kind of uh, subtly different kinds kinds of blues that will give us the kind of a volume and a kind of you know changes within that same bar on the support system below okay so we have this blues light blues and we have dark blues and we have you know all these different kinds of blues that are giving us this very nice change and moving on towards the right hand side um, we have this orange that is you know uh, depicting the reflection of the light on the bars so right there we have a few different kinds of blues and we have this orange um, right there that you can see right now that is showing you know all these very nice kind of uh, structure and this very cool kind of uh, you know design and we have you know all these very nice kind of uh, colors and very nice kind of uh, design based on the warm and the cool colors so just trying to make sure that we have all this orange that is added in so i use lines of different colors in the metal bars depicting the changes because of the light that is a very cool trick that i actually used to make sure that we have all these different colors within the same zone and that will give us all these very very nice kinds of changes all right, so just repeating the same process right here using the brush to kind of like depict all these um, different blues and different shapes and so on and so forth so just trying to make sure that we have all these shapes that are painted in so the reason i use shapes to kind of like depict those details because um, when you design using shapes they will give the, the viewer a very nice kind of visual effect rather than trying to you know draw in every single detail to 100% accuracy and um, that would be a little bit too difficult for the, the artists and the eyes you know but when we use different shapes they will help us to improvise a little bit and also construct the painting based on design rather than just copying 100% Alright, so now we are moving on to the right hand side of the painting again you see this different blues that are being added and we have all these different orange different kinds of grays and light blues and dark blues and we're now moving towards the structure that i just mentioned earlier on and so to paint this structure we need to paint in the darker areas first painting those dark blues and leaving out some of the white parts for the light areas that will be added on later and right now just using my brush to kind of like add in all the amazing kinds of light colors and orange and dark blues and light blues 
and so on and so forth and that will give us <clears throat> all these very nice colors and all these very nice kinds of blues and orange and so on and so forth and some light blues and that will help us to have all these very nice kind of colors that are being painted in and so using my brush just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of curved lines that make up the bridge and just trying to use the brush to kind of like create all these light blues and dark blues and all those areas that were left white just painting a lighter orange so again leaving white all those areas as we move towards the right hand side where the bridge is getting further and further away and so we kind of like have all these different details and different kinds of uh, colors like light blues and the details get smaller because they're more uh, they're further away and they're more intricate and we're now moving on towards the bottom part of the bridge where again i'm just using all these shapes to represent the structures like triangles and all these you know um shapes that actually form all those patterns on the bottom part of the bridge and again using strong blues and light blues and dark blues and all kinds of blues that will give us all these very nice kind of colors and um, using the brush to very quickly make sure that we have these dark blues in and then using the brush to very quickly make sure that we have all these um, grays in so the grays also act as transition between the warm colors and the cool colors as you know orange and blue doesn't have a very good relationship together and so when we use grayish kind of tones that will help us to connect these two colors together and using that brush just trying to make sure that we have all these um, different shapes different kinds of rectangles and squares and circles so that will give us the summarization of all the details and all the very nice kinds of uh, colors and structures and so on and so forth and so we will have all these things that are being added in right now that will give us this you know amazingly well designed kind of uh, shapes and colors and you can see on one area we have more blues than orange and on one area we have more orange than blues and so that's how i actually group the colors together based on their relationships and when you're more seasoned um, when you're more experienced then you would be able to do that by intuition and right now i'm just explaining how i actually use the colors in order to um, balance and to um, make them relate well so using those dark um, dark blue strokes i'm just using my brush to very quickly add in all this dark blue that form the outline of all of those structures that you see right there at the bottom part of the bridge and we're now moving on towards the right hand side again extending this bottom part of the bridge and using my brush to kind of like make sure we have all this orange and dark blues and using my brush just very quickly make sure that we have all these lines in and that will give us some very nice kind of structures and lines and shapes all right so right now just painting the structure that is um standing out from the bridge so right here using some blue tones dark blue tones just trying to do the outline first so using a few strokes just trying to make the main shapes before adding in the other shapes so we have dark blues we have all these you know grays grayish blues and um dark blues and light blues and brownish blues and browns and so on and so forth adding in all these shapes that make up the entire structure so we have reds we have purples and that will give us all these very nice kind of uh, you know colors and tones and so on and so forth so using those light blues we're just trying to make sure that we have these different colors and different kinds of blues and reds and so on and so forth and so we have this light purples and light blues and um different kinds of uh, colors like blues darker blues purplish blues and so on and so forth so once those strokes are dry we can add in the colors for the middle part and you can see right there i'm actually using darker blues so all these darker blues are in contrast with 
the lighter blues that I actually use to paint the structures, the supporting structures that are they were painted up early on and right now I'm just painting into those windows, those shapes that we left white earlier. And so using these dark blues and using my brush, just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of uh, dark blues and dark colors in. And once those areas are dry, again adding in the lighter colors and that will give us all these kinds of reflections and changes and you know, um, very nice kind of uh, changing kind of uh, compositions of colors and combinations and that will give us you know all these amazing kind of visual effects when we mix and match all these different colors together right so that's how we actually you know draw these structures again i'm not trying to depict the thing um 100 accuracy to the original photo but i'm just using shapes to kind of like show all these how all these different shapes relate to each other and how they make up the entire structure right so now moving on to the bottom part where we have this um the base area of the bridge which is partially submerged into the water and we are now drawing the part that is showing above the surface where we have this lighter blue so i'm using cerulean um no ultramarine blue mixed with water and so we have this lighter kind of blue tone and on top we have the use of purples and again the ultramarine blue and on the side we have those grays very light gray tones and the reason why this structure here is pretty light is because of the effect of those lights right so just trying to complete the the blue areas on this side and then just trying to use my brush to kind of like depict the blue areas on the right hand side so we have this dark blues and we have this you know all these different kinds of blues we're just trying to depict another of this uh, base structure so just leaving white those parts that we painted on later once this part is dry again using the light tone in the middle with the dark blue tones darker blue tones on both sides and right now using the brush to kind of like make these dark blues and these light blues and so on and so forth and that will give us all this very nice structure so using the orange just kind of like mixing with the dark blues and we have all these light and dark blues and so on and so forth so that will give us some very nice colors and very nice kind of combinations of warm and cool tones so just using the brush to kind of like make the outline so we have the tip of the brush that helps to make the outline for all these different kinds of uh, lines that you see on the base structure so adding all these lines will give rise to a very nice visual effect because now more details are added when more details are added on top of a base color that will give a very nice kind of a visual effect so doing the same for the rest of the structures and all those um, colors that you're seeing right now are actually you know being added later on after this it is dry and using the brush just very quickly trying to make sure that we have all these strokes and all these you know colors and all these lines and that will give us some very very nice visual effect right so now we are almost we are moving on towards the right hand side and again moving on to the end of this um presentation with all these colors and all these blue lines and so again here we used dark blue lines and different kinds of blues and purples to paint most of the areas but of course this is being balanced by the orange and the cool tone uh, and the warm tones and so these cool and warm tones that's actually you know they relate to each other and they kind of like strengthen each other because of the contrasting kind of a visual e effect and using the brush just trying to create all these different effects and results on the painting itself and as you can see right now we have again all these different structures and different lines and so on and so forth that will give us this very very nicely designed kind of um, painting process hey everyone it's ky tom here 
Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.